Hello and welcome to my Let's Play Minecraft series Rocket World episode number 52. We're jumping straight into the season 3 projects today by getting started on the iron farm that I wanted to make. This is going to take a couple of episodes to complete I think. Coming up in today's episode, I have some trouble getting the villagers into the iron farm and then I have some more trouble getting villagers into the iron farm. Well, let's jump in and get started. Well, I'm just heading out over to the Mushroom Island to think about what I'm going to do with this iron farm. Oh, I'd forgotten about this. Um, yeah, I guess I ought to do something with that. <laughs> well, we'll have a think. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, let's head off to the Mushroom Island. Uh, it's over here somewhere. Just past the uh, Guardian Farm. Let's see, can we get there on one rocket? Ooh. To load any chunks. Here we go. Perhaps I should have brought a map. I thought we would have found it by now. Hmm. Oh, I've got a feeling it might be a bit more out that way over there. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes, I was right. I was close, but just a bit out. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got so far. Right, now we have all of these villagers here. And we have a large island. Um, right, what have we got here? Well, we could use him for breeding. And uh, we've got some good librarians here and a few farmers. Not sure all of these farmers are very useful, but uh, okay. Well, let's have a look at the rest of the island, and uh, we'll uh, decide what we're going to do now. I want to? Did I leave that blue sheep up here? I don't think they spawn naturally, do they? <laughs> I don't know where that's come from. Hmm. Well, no, they don't spawn naturally on this island. So it must have been something to do with me. Oh well. Right. Anyway, I want to build the iron farm a little bit higher up actually and I think the iron farm is going to be about 20 blocks by 20 blocks so I'm thinking I might build it up about 50 blocks high into the sky so we're on level 70 here so I'm gonna get some materials out and uh, I'll build a tower and decide roughly where I want it to go and how big it should be Right, we're back with a little bit of an update. We've got the beginnings of a tower here, which is going to be our iron farm come trading. Oh, that was a big jump. And let's see, down here we've got, this is the area where I'm going to arrive, and this is going to be where the iron golems fall down. There's going to be a killing chamber here. Then we'll go up a short staircase, and this will be where the villagers are. They're going to be all the way around here, and the beds are going to be underneath here. And then, this level here, which I haven't done yet. This is going to be the collection mechanism going into the three by three hole that the iron golems will fall down. So I'm just in the middle of sorting all this out and I've been marking out chunks. I forgot to mark them out when I started. Don't think it's too critical for a villager trading hall, but um, I have put the chunks down at the base just so that I can refer to them if I need to really. So I'm basically just going to be filling this in now. And make it all out of stone and then flood it all. And that will be our catching chamber for the iron golems. Okay, I've got that platform done now. And this is where our water is going to go in the corners. So I'm just going to go around and do all of the edges here. It'll be quicker, I think. If I can grab that there and then walk sideways, oops, walk sideways doing this. No, is it not going to let me? There we go. Whoops, I think took a tumble off the edge. Never mind. All right, let's try that again. So bring that sideways like that. Right, now we've got the corners all done. I've put a couple of extra blocks in here. Uh, we're going to get a bucket of water. And uh, before we put it in the corners, we're going to put one here 
and make a water source. Now I do have a water source down here somewhere. Here it is. But we need one up high, otherwise we'll be running backwards and forward all the time. Right, here we go. Right, so let's put that there. there. Right, and I shall start doing all of these. And filling all of this up so that it the water runs all the way over to there. Oh, I didn't put that in there. That wouldn't have been too helpful. Right, I'll finish that off and then we'll do the next bit. Right, there we go. That's all the corners done. I've got to back it up on here and it just makes sure that the water all flows into the centre. I'm sure you're all familiar with iron farms and how water flows work. Uh, right, I've got to find out where my ladder is. So let's go down here so I don't want to go all the way down. And I'm going to start putting together the villager trading area now. So I've got to take this out almost as far as that, I think, to get 10 along each side or thereabouts. Right, I'm going to go on with that now. OK, now I've done a bit of work and I've realised I've actually completely run out of stone. So I've had to go with deep slate for this. And I have put in this area here. So there's 10 villages will go along each row here. And I can see each one as I come along because it's got a glass cube there. And it goes along all sides like that. And it's just below the um, area where the iron golems are going to spawn in here. So I'm hoping that that's going to be enough and hopefully they won't spawn over here. If they do, I might just make this platform a bit wider or something like that. But with the beds just under there somewhere, I think we should be all right. Uh, let's see, what else have I done? If we come down here briefly and then head up this little staircase again. Now, I've got a little pathway going around the inside here, slightly lower, and a little block missing. And it does mean that I would just be able to get to and reach the villages. And I'm hoping that we might be able to put a zombie in a minecart and he will be able to turn the villages into zombie villages and then I can cure them and therefore get better trades. Um, I'm making up my own system here, so I really don't know how that's going to work at the moment, but I'm sure I can figure something out. But uh, that's where I've got to at the moment. So... Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, it's still a little bit uh, blocky in places. And, oh, I'll put some sea lanterns in to get a bit light above and below. But yes, that's it so far. Right, I've got to work out what the next step is. And that's probably going to be maybe move one or two of these villages up here and get a couple way out over the ocean somewhere so that we can set up a villager breeder to bring them all in. OK, now here's the plan. So villager slots in here and we block him up with a workstation. And where does he come from? He comes from along here. We've got some power track there and he pops into this from miraculously coming up this water stream here. And hopefully, actually, I wonder if we need to put a lid on that because he might pop over the top because it's so powerful. Uh, right, yes, good point. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. Maybe one up there as well, just in case. <laughs> you know what villagers are like. Right, let's put that on there. So he's coming up that water stream there. And how does he get into the water stream there? Well, he comes in from here. So there's going to be a minecart delivering him to here. When he gets into the area, I'm going to block him off. Actually, I'm going to block him off before he comes down there, and then I shall pick out his minecart. And he's only got one way to go, really, and that's up there. Actually, how am I going to get up there? Hmm. Well, we'll figure that out when we come to it. And how does he get into the minecart? Well, we have a minecart here, and he is going to voluntarily walk through here, I believe. And hopefully it's not going to be the nitwit. No, not you. We don't want you in here. We don't want you in here, either. Right, uh, well, let's sort out the cows. Oh, he's gone. Right. Um, yes, I might have to block you in somewhere, mister. Let's have a look. We don't want you in a slot for our trading villages. 
Oh, there we go. That's easily done. Freedom! Not you. Thank you. And somebody want to go? Uh, probably one of the clerics actually would be more useful. All right, um, let's have a look. Let's give him a push, shall we? Oh no, he wants to play with his workstation. Oh dear, it's gone. I don't know where your workstation's gone. It's a mystery. Right, um, let me see. Perhaps. Oh, there it is. Didn't come up for a moment. Perhaps if your workstation was over there. Over there? What? <laughs> that wasn't quite what I meant to do, actually. But we'll see. Oh, what am I doing in this? Right, here we go. Okay, so we have a workstation. We have a villager. You know, that was to do that. Oh, hang on. Do you need a push, mate? There you go. Right, where is he? Oh, he's gone in, in the uh, minecart. Oh, that's uh, exciting. Hmm. Right. I thought he would have stopped on the button. Right, okay. Well, let's get some rockets and we'll see if we can get up there and have a look and see what he's doing. Now. I think we go to here and work our way down. Oh, I can hear him. <laughs> okay. Now, am I going to nobble you as I do this? I hope not. No. Ah, what are you doing? Hang on, I haven't got... What? What, 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 what? Ah, oh, my goodness. <gasps> what are you doing? Uh, no, the drop is uh, fatal from this height, mister. Oh my goodness me, you are a noodle. Um, am I going to better get you into that? Hang on, we've got another one over here. So if he comes up, he might drop into one as well. Let's get you there. Right. Can you please move into a mine cart? Let's see. Uh, perhaps we'll lure you up here with a workstation. How's that? How's that? <gasps> oh, he got up the stairs. Uh, right. I wasn't expecting that either. Right, here we go. Oh, let's get this. No, no. where are you going? Oh no, now what have I done? Why are villagers so difficult? Right. Now what I want, I want this, just behind him, so if I can push him off, he'll get trapped in it. Like that, something like that. Oh, it worked! Right, yeah, you go in there. <laughs> what? Ah! Hmm, I think he went a bit too far back. No. I might have to get a splash potion of healing or something. Right, now this has to go in front of you. I don't suppose you've got much health left, have you now? Right, okay. Let's do that. So you're now trapped. You won't be able to get out of there anyway, but we'll finish that off. Right, now I do need that minecart back. Oh, that's interesting. That doesn't allow me to access it from there, and I'm only going to be able to do that in the corner. Right, okay, so we've got one guy in there. With a lot of shenanigans. Now for the next one. Uh, can I ride a minecart in there? And shove you up? Let's have a try. Yes. Ah, uh, 
What do I do that for? Oh no! Oh, what have I done? And I can't do that either. And I've got a villager on the loose up there. Right, right, quick. Um, 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 rockets. Oh, why is that missing? What? Oh, I was going to put some. Uh... Oh, he's there. He's there. Right, let's get a workstation over here for him. Right, if he links to that, he might jump in the minecart. Yes. Right, I needed some of those. That's going to go there and there. And that's going to go there. Right, let's see if we can get him to come up. Is he in? Yes, he is. Oh, nice. Right, okay. Ah, now I've got to get behind you somehow, haven't I? Right, okay. Temporary platform. Right, we need a red. Oh, I haven't got any redstone left. Oh, dear. Oop, come on. Right, redstone torch. Off you go. Ah. There we go. Yay! Um, did I finish putting all the bits and pieces in? No. <laughs> so I didn't even finish the track. That was clever of me. Uh, right. Can you get back onto the track? Oh, hang on. We're going to end up with a suffocating problem if we're not careful, aren't we? Right, gently does it. Oh, we haven't got a lid on there either. Right, let's get rid of that. And that. Let's get your workstation. Oh, missed it. Right, let's get that ready. And we will gently get you in. Oh, look at that, it worked. But I can't get the workstation out from this one around the corner again. Gonna have to. Fit, I'll probably just pull that out. What? Oh, I didn't put the block on the top, and I don't think I've got any spare. Uh, right. Okay. We need to push. No. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. Hey, your workstation's over here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look what I've got for you. It's a minecart. Yeah, in a minecart. <laughs> Goodness me. <sighs> nice. Right, let's try this again. Oh, get moving. You don't want this workstation. What you want to do? Oh, I just still didn't put the tracks in. Ah, oh, such a noodle. Oops. Hang on. Let's get you lined up. Oh, there we go. All right, this time. This time. Oh, let's try it. All right, do that. Do that. Yay! So I get something right. Okay, we have a few villagers up here now. So we got one there. We got one there. And we've got some around the corner here. We've got a few village. Uh, the um, farmers up here and there's one over in that corner as well and we've got all the beds that they need down below so the next thing to do is to build a villager breeder and I'm thinking of going out that away over there is that going to cause a problem probably not but anyway yeah I'm going to go out that way over there and build a villager breeder so we can start filling up all of these empty spaces but that will have to wait until next time, as that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you all for watching today, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and don't forget to comment. If you want to see more on a regular basis, then consider subscribing. We're now seeing if we can get to 250 subs, perhaps by the end of this year. Hmm, thanks to G Carrot for the idea. There's a link to his channel in the description below.
If you've got a good idea, then please let me know in the comments or in the community section. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. So have fun and see you later.